So what's in the center of the sun? We have the, the core that produces uh, light. So we have hydrogen fusing into helium. Temperature is very high here. We have about 50 million degrees Kelvin. Density is enormous, about 120 times denser than water. We have lots of gamma rays photons that stream away from the core and they travel through this so-called radiation zone. Do you know how long it takes for light to reach the surface from the core? About a million years. About a million years. It takes a lot, long time for the light to reach the surface. Because this light, the gamma rays photons are constantly scattered back and forth by the free electrons that exist in this layer. So it takes a lot of time for the light to reach the surface. So we have this radiation zone, as I said, when the light is carried by the photons. And then we reach this convective envelope, the convection zone. And that's what makes the sun an interesting star. In very massive stars, this convective zone does not exist. If you take uh, O-type stars or B-type stars, they do not have convective layers. They have the entirely they have the radiation zone extends all the way to the surface. In the case of the sun, we have a convective layer in which uh, energy is carried by convective cells. So you have a region here with high temperature, region on the surface with lower temperature, and heat is carried by these convective cells. What's very unique about the convective layer is that it rotates differentially. The core and the radiation zone rotate like a solid body. <coughs> in this region, between the radiation zone and the convective layer, you have an enormous shear layer. In the equator, there is uh, pretty much no difference in differential rotation between the radiation zone and convection zone. But then as you go from the equator to the pole, there will be a huge shear developed right here. And at the surface, we know that the equator of the sun rotates faster than the poles. So at the equator, the sun rotates about 14 degrees per day. And when you get to the pole, it decreases at mid latitudes, the rotation is already down to about 12 degrees per day. Okay. So there is a layer between the radiation zone and the convection zone where you have enormous velocity shear, and that's where the magnetic field of the sun is generated. So the convection zone is uh, the most important region uh, as far as the magnetic field generation of the sun is concerned. 